I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Oh! Something that's a part of you. Like your name. Guardians? Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocky. What? So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. What? So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know. We clearly... Oh, please tell me this is like a story game. Please. Please. After Marvel's Avenger, I was not happy about that. We got this. I need a single player game. Drax, roll. No! Ooh. Ooh. You want monster? I'll show you monster! No! We just roll! Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a Yo, Drax is hot though. <laughs> I I appreciate that they don't look like the actors World too i don't mind that here, right? it's fine maybe we can work something out Get him. i think that's okay job, Quill. i did exactly what the more no killing teammates that's who it's literally in your contract i made no such commitments in less than three cycles all would be Laura lost looks kind of hot too not gonna lie save Peter Quill. we could do this together Parking uh, brake, well! You got me right straight into the fire! Done more, right? I'm hoping- <gasps> we'll make Oh! Crap. She's so cute! This is our time to go from zero to hero! I hope this is more comic book based rather than MCU. I prefer the comics. Mantis was so cute. October 26th. So it's a single player game, right? Right? Hi, my name is Olivier Poum, <laughs> senior producer here at Eidos Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single player, story driven, third person action adventure game. Yeah! It's our own fresh take Yay! on the Guardians. It and something is. that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. As yes. Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action. I've, I, this is what I wanted. I wanted a misfits. Marvel story-driven single-player really, really game. That's all I wanted. All of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I went back with the help of Bill Roseman, the editor. They're definitely doing more comic book focus, which is cool. Past. Thank you. <laughs> like, I have nothing against the, the so Marvel the movies. I love them, oh but I prefer... And if you're gonna make video Guardians games, the comic, try the comic books since there's plenty on. of stories in there that you can do uh, video games off of. I remember the first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal, we were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head it was a minute. I was like, oh my god, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Eidos Montreal share and have in common, and that we knew the Guardians oh, were so in good. perfect I'm hands. Excited. Looking at the samples that Eidos were kind enough I guess to you can count this as a surprise fantastic. of announcement on the bingo card, and right? Absolutely in the spirit Wasn't of expecting what these that. What makes the gameplay experience unique? Why does to me Starlar is look hot? No they all look in good. What phase of the game you are, whether you're in exploration or they look you're really fighting good. the guardians are I don't care. I know people are gonna be like, oh, why don't they look the act like the actors? The leader, the I personally prefer it this way. Even with Marvel's Avengers, I preferred it that they didn't look like the actors you are either. Literally part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The decisions you'll make will have light-hearted to hunting repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. The more no killing teammates. That's who. It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. I'm so happy that story based too. You are playing as Star Lord, and you're using your blasters and you're using your jet boots. I hope it's not going to be a grind. I don't think so. This is single player, He's very so I don't think it's, it's going to be grind fast. Marvel was uh, multiplayer. Of course, he has his elemental blasters that have different Thank powers God. as well. And on top of all of <laughs> I'll have to say, thank God. 
We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Who's the, the voice actors too? I need to know. Who are they? The story Misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something on a small scale that looks I hope they make it funny too. And as they progress through I the agree. story, they discover I need to see Mantis again. Like, she was really so cute. Can I see her galaxy. again? There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work <laughs> Is on it Troy Baker? I don't know. Troy Baker's in everything, get to though. Get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. I'm glad. Thank you for doing that. What Otto is getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. They're also bringing an amazing imagination to it. You're gonna see planets and characters that are gonna blow your mind. Disney Interpreting it in its own way, I think makes it feel He's incredibly so fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make That's the best so version good. of Guardians out of Thank that. Thank you. When you're they making adaptations, of course it's cool when you they take inspiration or you follow you exactly from the comics or Guardians something game. like that. But I, I like that they're going to try to make it their own story. That's good. Something new. That's what we need. Especially in the uh, superhero genre. I feel like you need something new. So that's really cool of them that they're gonna do that. Are we getting gameplay? Shut up. Are we getting gameplay? Stop. Thirty seven units? appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always out on My this figurines are not knickknacks. Huh. Team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. Except, of course, <gasps> sacrifice your head. And take oh, us to the majestic can, mountain. Yeah, the pick the answers. Nice. I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. You know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are this not is so a monster. Cool. Good. Are you really offering to? No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. It could work. Sell so, Groot. I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh, and then you get to... Ah! Yeah, I, I'm, I'm already well, liking Mark, this. Well, definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. Say the weather patterns of Sekhmarf <coughs> 9 are tied to the temperament of the It's so cool! That's oh my not God. how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one minor adjustment! I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Give me gameplay. Give me gameplay. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. I do like there his jacket, no too. no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna be brutally honest. The environments, maybe it's because of the planet. It's so dull looking right now. I don't know if it's because of the rain, but again, I don't know 
how the rest of the game is going to look. That's all I'm going to say right now. It looks very generic at the moment. I'm not complaining about the character design. I actually dig how they look. Just the environments right now. You are welcome, Feeble One. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Go forward! Feels like Dragon Age. Actually, that's a really good point. It kind of feels like Dragon Age Inquisition, a little bit. You should have gone to. That's the vibes. The hell is that thing? Jello? I would be wary, Rodent. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. I think I'm scared of some little. Black. It's not alone. Get ready. What are these things? They are amorphous vermin. Oh, and then you can control the party. Oh, that's so good. I'm so excited for this. This is what I wanted for Marvel's Avengers. That's the kind of game that I wanted. Eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Dead end. That's just great. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Okay, the environment is getting a little bit better. What do you not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the brain. <laughs> I may activate a hole through your face. Put me down. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. Oh it's my okay. God. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Rocket is furious that you let Drax cat. throw him. Oh my God, this is like Telltale. I am not familiar with these words. Order the beast to do its job. Oh, Fuck it, come on, man. Ram it, fast face. Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. Yeah, it's like Dragon Age meets Telltale. That's exactly what it is. Thanks for the I'm not mad at it. I like you it. Even think of pulling that Wait, shot again. hear that? Uh, guys. I got it. The hell is that thing? These creatures are perfect predators. Stop cheering for the murder monsters! <laughs> I love their banter. It's so cute, and it's really funny. It it just fits. I like that there's uh, ailment effects. That's cool. And then you can help your party members. What's this? That's so cool! I need this game. I ha I have to play this game. I have to play this game. That is definitely in my top ten fortresses. Peter, aren't you forgetting something? Are you blue? Oh, right, the cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Ooh, and then they'll let you change your mind. Maybe Gamora's right. 
Ah. Try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. I am Groot. <sighs> yeah. How is notice. Groot gonna fit in there? I mean, just bend, I guess. You want to make that <laughs> call? Then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style. Oh my god, I like it! They got the charm of the characters Your too, which is great! Now. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on! Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. <laughs> Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I approve. Not bad, not bad. I just love that they're making him so, drag it, <laughs> drag it. Wants to pull this thing. We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. We got this. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play this now. Rocky, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is that thing? Guardians of the galaxy, how many times do I have to kill you? The audacity. That you thought you could rob me, Dweller! Feast upon them! What the heck is that? <laughs> oh no, she's hot! <laughs> Woo! Yay, I'm excited! I'm definitely playing that on the channel!